everybody. Welcome to the Holland Meesner Show. And this is Daryl. Everybody calls him hubby, so feel free to call him hubby. The show today, we're going to talk about some of the topics in the news today. Uh, maybe it's some fake news, maybe not. And we're going to cook. We're going to make an entree. We're going to make an appetizer. We're going to make dessert. And we're going to use some Taki chips. All right, so get all the kids in the room. I'm gonna show you a healthy way to eat Taki chips and feel like you just feast on a very fattening, naughty meal. All right, so we have our salad here. Now this salad is just regular dough type iceberg salad mix, okay? We have Taki chips. 12 chips is a serving, okay? So this big bowl of salad, 12 pieces is a serving, and we're gonna get your favorite dressing. This happens to be Hubby's favorite dressing, okay? He loves this stuff. This is by Nature's Promise, it's organic. So at least he's eating organic, and it's Thousand Islands. And when you taste it, you will think you're eating tacos. The trick, instead of one tons on the salad, we're gonna break up the Taki chips and put the pieces over the top of the salad and add the dressing. Nice and good. Speaking of breakups, I heard Birdman and Tony Braxton didn't really break up. What do you think? You think they broke up or not? Uh, I just think that's a back and forth hot mess. Well, he said on the Wendy show that he has enough money for any money problems she might have. I wish I had a man like that. I wish I had a woman like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just gonna pour the taki over the top of the salad. And hubby is here to be my taster. My original taster is my baby. He's in college, so he can't be here because he's busy learning how to be a contributing member of the society. He's so we not mix learning it in. fast enough. He says he's not learning how to be a contributing member fast enough, but college lasts four years. And you know, you gotta take time to grow up. So we're gonna put his favorite on here. Two tablespoons is a serving. Okay, so I like to put it right down the middle. Okay, now the reason why Hubby likes Thousand Island is because it goes best with this dish. It just seems to support the flavors. If you have ever followed me on Cooking on Time, you know I'm always talking about massaging those taste buds. Nature's Promise is organic, so you don't have to worry about all the pesticides that come along with the tomatoes that's in other dressings, and it's very creamy. He says it's very creamy, he loves it. Now we're gonna mix it up. And another thing about it is not as runny as a vinaigrette, so you're gonna have to really get in there and mix it. Because if you had a runnier dressing, it would just run throughout the salad. With this one, you really have to get in there and mix it and get all the flavors in there. And, like I said, when you finally taste it, you will not believe the combination of flavors. And because these chips are so potent and so powerful and, and they give you a huge punch of flavor, when you eat this salad, you actually think you're eating a real taco. A crunchy taco at that. They don't lose their crunch just because the salad dressing has been mixed in. That's another thing we like about it. So we're gonna take this. Don't worry, we'll just eat out the same bowl. We've been together like, what, 20 years? Yes. A very long time. Very long time. And now we're like that couple from that old movie, Ruthless, like we're just trying to figure out how to kill each other. <laughs> Who's gonna win? I might put a poll on Twitter. You tell me if I'm gonna win, he's gonna win. Go for it. <laughs> I hope I win the poll at least. Mm -hmm. See if that's what you're used to at home. Go for mm. it. Delicious. And that's why I had to share this dessert with you. I mean, this recipe with you. Because it's that good. And if you notice, low calorie. If you get another salad like this, you're gonna have at least twice the calories, hands down. Now let's move on to our next dish.
Welcome back. Now we're gonna make our main course. We have here some beef cubes. Some people might call them stew cubes. And <laughs> this is the vegetarian alternative. Vegetarian meatballs made with soybeans. We have couscous. We have some squash, green squash, teriyaki sauce. And this oil is specific for sauteing. Actually, this is one of my favorite oils because it is less likely to high temperatures. So, um, and if you look at it, if you're in the grocery store, it says right there, specific for sauteing. And we have some seasoning. Now let's get started. First, we're gonna start with a cup of water, hot. The thing about couscous is you must cook it with a fork because it sticks, so you have to fluff it, okay? So you let the water boil, we're gonna wait here and let it boil, and you add exactly the same amount of couscous as you added water. That's how you cook couscous. It's not, it's not rice, because rice will soak up the water, but not couscous. Now we're gonna also start to saute our beef. We're gonna add in our oil. And of course, hubby is just here to eat. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Especially when it's good food. Now, what were you saying about Birdman and Tony? You were saying you're concerned about burn and it can withstand for the couscous. You're gonna let that get the rice. It's on the rice aisle. Rice, you need much more water than you have. About the, the ring mishap. He thinks Tony has taken the ring and doesn't believe the ring was truly lost. No, I was just saying the biggest part of that mess is that... Well, that's not called a mess, that's okay, a relationship. Fine. If not, it's not really a, a relationship, mess. I'm not okay. sure if it's a relationship My mistake, yet. my mistake. The biggest part of that, yeah, their relationship is that she lost um, a very expensive ring. You know, but hey, it's there, you know, and Birdman is like, hey, he doesn't care. He's got it. Well, you bought me more than one ring, and I don't wear a ring to this day. Yeah, that's true. So, so I just go back to that's none of It happens business. if you're in a relationship. Yeah. It mm. happens. It does happen. It does happen. I'm just gonna put your your beef in there in that oil, and again, you don't have to worry about it. You just add in your um, seasoning, and I'm gonna turn this down. This is a little too high. Mm -hmm, the grease seems to find me. Yeah, because if it's too high, then it stands, tends to pop. Okay, so we are going to saute the beef. We're going to add our seasoning shortly. And now we're fluffing. We're fluffing the couscous. Okay? And we're going to put that over to the side and not overcook that. Well, it sticks together. You have to fluff couscous in order for it to not be a big plate of just um, granules when you take it out of the pot. So you have to fluff it because they tend to stick together. They are best friends in that pot. Just think about it like that. <laughs> no, so you don't boil it like rice. No, it's not rice at all. But, it, but the problem is a lot of people cook couscous as if it's rice and it's not rice. That's why I said, you know, with rice you have to have much more water and rice um, absorbs the water and swells up. So you can start out with a cup of rice and then you end up at the end with three cups of rice after it's cooked. Couscous, you start out with a cup, you end with a cup. Yeah, so we added our teriyaki, that's two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. And we added two tablespoons of seasoning. Now one thing about seasoning today, I'm surprised when young people say, oh, but I don't cook. It's so much easier than when we were younger. We had to mix this stuff ourselves. Let me show you what seasoning I'm using while that finishes up. This is the McCormick Korean style red pepper. So this is the eastern side of the globe dish. Couscous is a, from the eastern side of the earth. This is an eastern style seasoning. If you want a Korean food back in the day, you had to take three, five, whatever it took, mix those seasonings and spices just to come up with the flavor. Now McCormick does it for us. Okay, so while that is sauteing and still cooking, we're gonna cut up our squash. Now my son would tell you, I never cook a meal without vegetables. That's why he ran away from home <laughs> and went to college down south. <laughs> He didn't want to stay on the East Coast. He was like, I'm out of here. He left me to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're suffering so much, big guy. <laughs> you're suffering so much. How dare I? 
Been with him 20 years, and to tell you the truth, it's been a fabulous 20 years. Mm -hmm. it's been I fun. don't want to die without him. There was a couple that had a cooking show, but I think they divorced and their um, cooking show ended. Okay, well, let's, let's not try to go that route now. Well, they already know we're trying to kill each other, so we don't have to, we don't have to put on the airs of a perfect marriage. <laughs> Y'all can tune in next week to see if he's still here. I made it this long. I'll be all right. No, you, no I don't know how you made it, though. I don't know how you made it. I've been trying to get rid of you. Oh. <laughs> I found a... No, we went on vacation to Jamaica, and I, I saw this very handsome young man. I said, well, I can get rid of him and do the Stella got a groove back thing and uh -huh. uh, didn't get rid of you. He almost drowned in the Bahamas, but uh, somehow he kept afloat. <laughs> do you remember that? No, I just had it. I was following the tiger shark snorkeling, and really? the next thing I knew, I was too far away from the boat. Yeah, yeah, I panicked. And he panicked and went under. But of course, when you're out on some kind of excursion, they have professionals there with you, and he was saved. Yeah, it doesn't to my matter. Chagrin. You can have all the professionals you want to, but when you but wake up. But they should have asked permission Ooh. before they saved you. Yeah, when you're in the middle of the ocean and all you see is blue. Uh, <laughs> Okay, as you can see, our beef tips and our squash is almost done cooking. And I love seasonings. And you can see the seasoning just loving on the squash. When you eat this, this is gonna be the best squash and beef meal you ever had because of the Korean style seasoning and the teriyaki sauce and the oil that's specific for sauteing. It doesn't make it taste greasy or anything. It's not gonna make your stomach feel queasy. And the little ones will love it. And you don't have to spend like $30, $40 and go to um, a high-end restaurant because this is going to taste like that high-end restaurant experience without, you know, you taking your wallet out. This is good stuff right here. And as you can see, mm, look at that. I like to do close-ups of this. Just look at that. Just dripping in flavor. Mm, you want some of that? Yes, you do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to just put it on top of your couscous. Bring a bowl over here. We're going to put it right on the end here. It won't activate. And that's how you do it. You just take a little bit right here. And if you are really into flavor, you just take a little bit of that broth and let it drip down on top of the couscous. And this is how you eat it. And a little bit goes a long way. Just a little bit of this and you're going to be full you're gonna be absolutely stuffed. So this is really enough for two people, minimal. Okay, so now we will move on to the vegetarian version of this, okay? Okay, welcome back. Now we're gonna do vegetarian meatballs and couscous with sauteed squash. And it's gonna be delicious. First, we're gonna put in this oil that's specific for sauteing. And we're gonna put in the meatballs. Mm. You won't get as much sizzling as you do with real meat, but trust me, it's packed full of flavor. We're gonna saute that. We're gonna add in the teriyaki sauce and the seasoning and just let it heat up. Oh, there it goes and just let it heat up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move things around and make it good and delicious and then last but not least, we'll add in the squash. So we were talking about Birdman and Tony Braxton's relationship and you say the ring going missing is quite suspicious. Well, I just, well, Birdman. Tony is. has had money problems. She's spout bankruptcy at least three times. Birdman is from the streets. He knows she got the ring. He doesn't care. That's why he loves her. I mean, sure. what kind of woman does a man with a face full of tattoos is going to go after? That's his kind. That's his kind of woman right there. I hope they get married and have a bunch of little bird men babies or... 
Yeah, I mean, they'll be all right, you know, that's, I mean, they'll be all right, you know, it's over and done with, Birdman's happy, Tony's happy. Really? Man, they'll be happy, they'll be good for each other. Well, you know who's happy also? Justin Smollett, that? he's happy, they dropped all charges. Sure he is. But he snuck the NAACP awards, he didn't go, he didn't show up. <laughs> they were going to give him an award and he did not show up. I think he's a little you know, upset about how he's been treated because I thought he was guilty. And then they dropped all the charges. I didn't know what he was guilty of because I was quite confused, but <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I thought he was, was guilty. I think it's hard to say because Chicago PD, uh, they have a little sketchy background. Chicago, I didn't say that, so if I'm out there visiting, remember he said it. <laughs> yeah, I'll say it, I'll say it again. <laughs> Chicago PD, they got issues. I mean, you can't sit up here and talk about Justice Smollett when you're covering up for your own doing some dirt. Okay, mm -hmm. let's, let's not talk about that. Anyway, we're not going to get political. <laughs> we're not going to okay. start a riot or march. But we're <laughs> going to make a delicious meal today. As you can see, things are starting to heat up over here. The meatballs, look at that. And I love seasonings like teriyaki sauce and... Um, Seasonings by McCormick. You know why? Because look at this. They are already sticking to the meatballs and letting you know when you bite into this meatball, the seasoning is already there to tingle your taste buds. So we're going to let that finish cooking. Um, Jesse Smollett. I think they should have given him more money. Empire is a hit, was a hit. Um, the ratings have slid some, but they were making good money. If they had just paid him, yeah, but speaking of pay, what about the two Nigerians? Um, you can't yeah, find that's them. This is kind of like one of those <laughs> dinner <laughs> mysteries, right? <laughs> Isn't it like, like, have you ever been to one of those plays and you're trying to figure out who did it? I, I'm so confused about this Justice Smollett stuff. I don't know where the New Nigeria. so they were the ones that were supposedly the Trump supporters, right? The two uh, allegedly, but they were the wrong color. <laughs> oh, that's right. So people, so I don't know who all was saying, but social media was saying, I thought the Trump supporters were supposed to be more Caucasian looking versus Nigerian that's looking. That's true, but so that, that was, that was that the was, suspicion there. That was, uh, I don't not know true. who said that Nigerians can't true. vote for Trump. I didn't say that. I'm just saying what social media was saying. No, it's not true, but it, at the end of the day, $3,500 is not enough for two men to be involved in this hot mess. Okay. <laughs> and that's just my opinion. Well, if you can't stand the heat, stay out the kitchen uh -huh. and watch the Holland Meisner show. You can say Holland Meisner if you don't know German or Dutch, but the German and Dutch pronunciation is Meisner. But I don't want you all on Google <laughs> looking for M-I-Z, it's M-E-I-S-S-N-E-R. So if you can't stand the heat, stay out the kitchen, but make sure you watch the Holland Meisner show because we are cooking some delicious cuisine here. And you know what else? We're also going to plug my book, my book, Dying to be Angry. It's a self-help book and it talks about um, repressed anger. I talk about my childhood quite a bit. Um, I talk about being abused as a child and going through some things that I didn't think little children had to go through. I want you to get that book. It's in audio. It's on iBooks. It's in ebook form. It's on Amazon. It's on Nook. It's on print. And we also have a new book that we're going to be selling at the Meadowlands Comedy Festival called Elf Star Star K Y O U by Holland Meisner. Again, that's Elf Star Star K Y O U by Holland Meisner. You should send a copy of one of your books to Jesse Smollett. Because, Which copy? Uh, the Elf Star Star K? Uh, oh, you them, are the Don to be angry. Send them Don to be angry because apparently uh, he didn't show up for the Image Awards. Yeah, so he didn't he show up for the Image That's true. He, he must have been angry. Mm -hmm. Well, Chris Rock has already said, you know what, what a waste of light skin. Jesse, I don't think you're a waste of light skin, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I do think I do think they should have paid you more so I'm not on anybody's team I'm too confused to know who did what but you know you should have showed up for the NAACP image award um, your people were trying to do something positive for you they wanted to show they were in your corner mm -hmm. but you snuffed them and that's all I'm going to say about that your mother would speak more to you about that I'm sure your parents were not happy to find out that information that's all I can say about that all right, well, we're done with this meal. We're going to plate it, and we'll be right back. 
Okay, we are done with the vegetarian version of this very Mediterranean and Eastern world dish. And what we're gonna do is just gonna put some of the squash and the um, vegetarian meatballs on top of this couscous. That's where it belongs. It's gonna be so delicious and so fulfilling. Again, you have the grains of the couscous. You got sauteed squash that's absolutely delicious and filled with flavor. You can see the flavor has been baked right into it. And just put that on top of there. And you can serve this next time you have dinner. The little ones even love it. And it's great if you wanna have it for like, um, you know, like a ladies lunch. You know how we like to get together, us ladies, and have little luncheons. It's very sophisticated. And you wanna show off a little bit? That's a very sophisticated but easy mm -hmm. meal. Yeah, plus sauteed squash tastes a lot better than regular squash. Than What's raw. regular, what you call regular squash? Oh, well, you just cut it and it's fresh. I never made yeah. you eat just raw squash, have I? Look, somebody did. It was such a, <laughs> it was so traumatic. It was so traumatic, you don't know who did such a thing I don't to know you, right? Who did that? All right. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to move on to our dessert. Okay. Now we're ready for our dessert. We're gonna have a mint cantaloupe. The proper way to pick out a cantaloupe is just simply to smell it. If it has that nice, sweet cantaloupe smell, then you know that it's ripe. Because a lot of cantaloupes have a little bit of green, and also don't forget to wash it. A few years ago, there was some listeria in the cantaloupe that could have been prevented just by washing it. Let's scrub it really good, and then we're gonna have ourselves some dessert. So, oh, hubby, back yeah. to what we were saying about Jess, Jesse Smollett. <laughs> I, I kind of like that because Jesse is so hard to pronounce. It's so unique. So mm -hmm. now it's Jesse Smollett. What do you think about it? We just call him Jesse. <laughs> well, I think I think as far as Jesse is concerned, he'd rather us forget his name altogether. Yeah, okay. He's well, let's talk about Felicity Huffman. Okay. Uh, and the co you know what I'm referring to, right? Uh, yes, I do. I happen to know a young man that applied to USC. He didn't get accepted either, but we didn't have any money to donate like Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah, so, Dr. Dre, so, there's that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Felicity figured out a new way to get into college. I think if you're rich, you should be able to go to any college you want to. I mean, you're rich. Yeah, you can afford it. Yeah, yeah Dr. Can. Dre is saying, hey, my daughter got in on her own merits, but we don't know that for sure because yeah, Dr. Dr. Dre gave $70 million to USC. Yeah, yeah, well, you yeah. go. If I had seven zero million dollars, 70, and I've worked hard, which I am doing that now, so please tell your friends to watch Harlem Meister show. I want to buy my babies the best. And if that means buying them easy access into any college I choose, then I'm going to do it. What mother or father doesn't want the best for their child? Yeah. Well, there's also uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, Kamara Lee Simmons. Uh, did she do the same thing? I need another I one. don't know. If she, I wouldn't say she did that, I but... I thought I had one sitting up here. Did y'all take those two lines up here? Okay, so this oh. is all we're going to do. We're going to cut your cantaloupe, and you're going to slice it. Slice little pieces of your cantaloupe just like that and put it in a bowl, okay? We're going to drop it in a bowl, and we're going to put some mint leaves on top. My grandmother on my father's side, she used to grow all of her herbs, including mint. And we would go out in the garden in the morning and pull the little mint leaves off of the plants, and we would go inside and we would make things with them. And uh, one of her favorite things was making mint tea. Now, this was years ago before the restaurants knew about mint tea. So now I'm gonna share with you mint cantaloupe before the restaurants start using it. <laughs> just remember, you, you saw it first here on Holland Meisner, okay? Mm -hmm. And so you just cut little chunks and it's a delicious, refreshing flavor. We like to chill the cantaloupe. So we chilled this cantaloupe best we could before we cut the little pieces out. And um, you just sprinkle dried mint leaves. Again, this is so easy. You don't have to go out in the garden and pick your leaves and dry them because McCormick has made it so easy for you. We have McCormick mint leaves right here. It's so simple. Yeah, McCormick is a lifesaver. Yeah. 
save yeah. me a lot of trouble and a lot of headache. McCormick has saved you a lot of headache? Mm -hmm. That way you can just tell me, go get McCormick this, McCormick that. Oh, okay. These are combinations and recipes copyrighted Holland Meisner Show. Things you might have not have thought of, but I tell you, once you have it, you're gonna be grateful that you did. And when you finish eating a dessert like that, you also have minty fresh breath. Mm. Thank you for watching the Holland Meisner Show. We have the Holland Meisner Company page on Facebook, Holland Meisner on Twitter. Twitter. We are Holland Meisner on Snapchat, and we're Holland Meisner on Tumblr. We have Holland Meisner Company on LinkedIn. H O L L A N D M E I S S N E R. Same spelling across all of the social media platforms. Our email is Holland Meisner at iCloud.com. H-O-L-L-A-N-D-M-E-I-S-S-N-E-R -S -S -E at iCloud.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to tune in next time. <laughs> Say bye, hubby. Bye, Howlin' Meisner no. Show. Learn from me all you have, but not the hate. Share only love. Enjoy when I can hate. Love. We'll slide down to New Orleans, but not that hate. Bring your ties and offerings, but not that hate. We shout out to Brooklyn, but not that hate. We'll slide. Love. We're going to LA. Then cruise the Mississippi without that hate. Love. Share only love. Enjoy when I can hate. Love. Offer me all you have when I can hate. Share only love. Enjoy when I can hate. Love. Shout out to Brooklyn, but not that hate. We'll slide down to New Orleans, but not that Bring your ties and offerings, but not that hate. Love. The shy town, but not that hate. We're going to L.A. without that hate. Then cruise the Mississippi without that hate. Love.